Hello everyone, Green Ninger here. Welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. In the last episode, we got our sword, we got the spirit flute, and we arrived at the Tower of Spirits. And we also saw a pretty hilarious cutscene with Princess Zelda. And I'm pretty sure we're actually going to be doing a Tower of Spirits. But yeah, and that scene really did remind me of what I do love about this game specifically that no other Zelda game does. Zelda has actually a personality, and Zelda plays a very big role in the game, just like, oh, princess gets kidnapped, princess gives you something. That's usually how it all is. In this game, Zelda has a role in the game, Zelda has a personality. Well, her role will be even greater, and you guys will see that in this episode, I believe. So this is what the inside of the tower looks like. Let's hold over that door, Link. Yeah, because I totally wouldn't have known to go over there by walking up the stairs. So yeah, we're moving on, I'm excited. I really do like this game though, it's really fun. Also, you guys probably saw my top 10 Zelda list, if you haven't, recommend checking it out. Well, the thing about that list is, it was mainly kind of like, I was like, I had the idea and I spent two hours writing the script, and then I felt it was too late to just not, what was going on, I wasn't really paying attention, but I was like, kind of not doing it, but the quality was really sloppy, the editing was really sloppy, and I might take it down, just because, even as a small channel, I cannot accept such a sloppy video like that, but maybe you guys will enjoy it, there's some parts I do like that I think were done well, but yeah, don't, like, don't take that, like, seriously, that was not intentional for it to be that bad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what in the world is that? Never seen a monster as ferocious looking as that one, Link. It doesn't look that bad. Seen my Phantom Hourglass. Let's get out of here, Link. Oh, we have to. Oh, okay. And he just runs right back to Angie. What's the matter? You look as pale as a ghost. Though given the company you've been keeping, perhaps it's no surprise. Angie and this first monster up there with a great big sword. I don't see how he can possibly defeat it. Sounds like a phantom, my dear. They are guardians of tower spirits. Though they look quite sinister, they won't harm anyone with a good heart. I know what I saw. It was definitely after us. Why would it think Link is evil? There is one possible explanation. The spirit tracks God. Perhaps an evil spirit has possessed the phantom. Cole. We know, I know Cole's not a spirit. Cole's like a demon of some sort. It's already situated. If that's the case, we might have trouble beating it. Hitting the phantom in the back of your sword to stop the fall. First, you need to gather all three tiers of light. That will power up your sword, then you'll be able to face the phantom. Collect all the three tiers of light, then hit the phantom in the back. Sounds tricky. If anyone can do it, Link can. Well, I have a lot of faith in me. I'm just like, I'm just a little 12 year old engineer. I mean, doing all this. It's like, it's like, oh look, there's a 12 year old boy. Oh look, he's got time on his hands. Let's ask him to save the world. That's, that's how Zelda is a lot of times. Not necessarily like that specifically. The fan is still here, following the instructions. Yeah, so if you look on the top screen, you see the purple parts. When we stand in there, the phantom, it, we're invincible to the phantom, and I'll just show you what I mean. Look. It sees us. But it cannot hurt us. Okay, it's gonna actually tell you something strange to come up to right here. Do you feel it too, Link? I have Zelda. Princess Zelda, can you hear me? It's Angie. Oh, so we're gonna be explaining this anyway, but I already told you. Yeah, let's just say so. We're hidden from the phantom. I wonder if I can just like run past him. And that's the first tier of light. Maybe I should be even more careful not to like. Okay. I'm looking. I'm looking at what to do. I'm not sure. I'm looking at the top screen. There's like an area we can't really. Okay, there we go. So that made a bridge. A time bridge, really? Okay, it actually wasn't that bad. Hard to get to. 
Now this is the easy part. Now look, all we have to do is stand in the safe zone. Now... <laughs> look out, Link! I thought this was really cool. Link! Now, I don't understand that. It's like hitting in the back here. Like, all it did was make him mad, apparently. As the phantom has stopped. Wait for it. Yes, guys, Zelda has possessed the phantom now. Isn't that cool? I thought it. I think it's pretty cool. This is a big mechanic in the game. There's a lot of main mechanics. Spear flute, the train, the this. But yeah, don't look so scared, Link. It's me. It's Zelda. I don't know what happened there. When I saw that phantom corner, I just leaped at it without even thinking. I was just really not my days. At first, I was my body, and now I look like a heap of scrap metal. I feel pretty happy. Like you're invincible now. It's like if I I go walk, I'd be like so happy. Like I'm gonna go. Actually, what would I do? I don't really have any enemies. But I can make some. Maybe I can be of some use to you like this. It's not exactly what you expect from a princess, but right now that can't really be helped. I've been watching Nordami. It's, it's a pretty, actually, it's very interesting anime. I've only seen like half the first episode. The way it works, it's like this, there's this guy named Yato. And he's like a god, but a really minor. It's like a world where there are gods and stuff. And he's like pretty much, Yato is a minor... Okay, so this is how he controls Zelda. Oh, oh, really? How rude. I think we have to have her. There we go. But yeah, and this god, and then there's this girl, and as this god's trying to, like, as he runs across the street, a bus comes, and the girl, oh, I can't hit stuff. And the girl pushes him out of the way, but in the process of doing so, dies. I think we have to have Zelda, because she can walk across this place. But in the process of saving this god, the girl dies. And she, now she kind of has a connection with the spirit world. Like, she can go into her spirit body. Not like a controlled connection, but she has a spirit form in normal form. And her spirit form has a tail. And then, like, Yato, who, she once again, she saved, he, like, helps her. And then there's this stuff about those like people who turn to weapons, kind of like Soul Eater. I know I make it sound strange and weird, but Origami is it's an interesting anime. I didn't think I would like. I knew the plot before I even started watching it, but I did not think I would like it at first glance. Look at that. You realize I was tapping on those enemies the whole time. You walk right there. <laughs> but yeah, I find the karma in this game a bit difficult for an emulator. Just this game period difficult for an emulator. Yeah, I was like that let's they're gonna be that annoying. And I think we can push this over the mouse hole if I'm correct, so they stop coming. And once again, so let's just... Oh wait, there's a phantom over there. There's another phantom, Link. Wait a second. Now that I'm in disguise, maybe I'm drinking and thinking I'm on the side, so I'll go try. That's not it. Ah, there's a chest right there, though. I'm looking for a switch or something that I have to hit. There's a lot of chests over here, actually. 
Wait a minute, I'm gonna go back to Link and see if I can quickly... Uh, whoops. Ah, it keeps happening. I'm gonna go to Link and see if I can quickly... Run in if there's a way to grab that chest. Doesn't look like it. But yeah, there's a lot of large chests over here. And I would like to grab those chests and I'd like to know how to grab those chests because I see them. Watch it be something like stupidly obvious. Now what? I can't walk over the spikes, can I? Okay, I need to find the switch. Zelda, hit the stupid switch wherever it is. Oh my gosh. I keep accidentally trying to walk. Okay, I gotta go find a pot or something. Oh my god, it was over there the whole freaking time. Oh, that makes me mad. <sighs> Talk to him. Okay, we're good. I think, can I hit him in the back? Yeah, you see, the thing you can do is you can hit him again, and then Zelda can repossess him, and then we'll just fly. So now, there's no phantoms on this floor, and I'm actually going to explore it a bit. Like, there's a place for bombs there. So this is like, must be backtracking then. Because I don't see any way we could hit any of these chests. And I'm just gonna hope there's some heart containers around here. So can we not get any of those then? Ah, oh, it's nice to get out of that clinky outfit and back to my old self. Must be something special about this room. I hope Cliff Lighting Shrine has disappeared too, Link. Yes, my friends, this is the location of the first real map in the game. Can we grab it, please? Thank you. The forest real map. This is going to allow us to get to the first dungeon in the game. And restore the spirit tracks to get to the first dungeon in the game. Some of the lost spirit tracks on it are reappearing. This must be good job, Link. This must be the real map Angie was talking about. What could that blue light be? This is Angie in here. Good work, Princess Southern. You've done well obtaining the real map, but you can't go any further. Step in the light and return to the tower lobby. Well, you heard her, Link. Let's go. I could really use some hearts. Let me talk to you. Yep, hot scene. Ah, oh, so you managed to obtain a real map. Real map? You two just might be able to restore the spirit tracks in every realm. But Angie, the real map has only a small part of the spirit tracks on it. Where are the temples you're talking about? In each of the four realms of the temple, look, my dear. The closest one, so that must be the far temple. But I don't think you can make it to the temple as things are right now. The real map has imparted energy to a length of the spirit tracks. Because of the demon king's power, much of the energy was lost. So we can't go to the temple, Angie? <laughs> Not yet. There's a way to restore energy to the real maps. You can ask my people to help you. 
Your people, Angie? Indeed, we are called locomotives. We are servants of the spirits. We have entrusted us with protecting the temples and the spirit tracks. By playing our sacred instruments, we can generate the energy that powers the spirit tracks. Sacred instruments? Yeah, the spirit flute you hold is one of them. This flute was a gift from my grandmother. I didn't know I had any powers. Now we heard there was something precious handed down from my ancestors. Yes, and it was I who gave it to your ancestors. But only in religion they protect the land for all time. Of course, back then I didn't think things would take such a perilous turn. I'm glad after all these years it's found its way into your hands. I had no idea this flute was so important. My grandmother used to play it for me when I was a little girl. If I started to upset the sound of this flute would make me feel better. Oh, that's sweet. But even so, I suppose this rightful place is with you, Angie. No, you two will have need of it. Please take it with you, for now. You must go find the other locomotives and restore the energy of the rail maps. Once you do, the spirit tracks will reappear. Go to the forest first, where you will f must talk to the locomotive Gage. South of the forest sanctuary area is the sanctuary where you can find Gage. He will be able to tell you where to go next. Got it! Let's go, Link. Oh, but we don't have a train. How are we going to get to the forest? You may take this. What? Ah, so we are obtaining. That's a nifty train. I caught the grounds as we sprouting in the tracks. This train is a symbol of the spheres. Please don't want to ride around in it. But these are no ordinary circumstances. I'm sure the spirits wouldn't mind lending it to you. Thank you, Angie. We still have one heart. I'm, I'm kind of nervous about that. So yeah, I think we're going to go over to the forest village. See, you got, and then that's where I'm going to stop. You can see on the top screen the train going out. That's cool. There's something strange and powerful about the roadmap you covered. If you chase your style through the tracks, it will set your path to this. Go on and try, Link. I actually want to go here first. We do the demon train job. I know they're here. Oh, I just want to see what the roadmap is. If you just try and change your direction of course, reach all your travel by tapping the route in the little corner on the screen. Unfortunately, I have enough power to speed you. Almost point. Be brave, you two. Yeah! Woo! Okay, so now we just kind of sit. Yeah, I was talking about Noragami earlier. It's an interesting anime. It's kind of, it's pretty funny, actually. Yato, I think, I think, I like the Yato character, though. He's, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, get out of the way! I wasn't paying attention. I should probably start sailing. Gosh. That was... We are leaving in 15 minutes. Okay, Mom, I'm recording. Mom. How do I drive the monsters away? Is he still there? Okay, he's gone. When do the demon trains show up? That's the thing, that's the thing that makes the navigation so hard. I never liked them, honestly, because it could... Because the thing is, in Phantom Hourglass, sure there was other enemies on the ship, but you could avoid them because it wasn't a set path, it was an open seas. The problem with this game is the tracks are like set and you can't just go anywhere you want. So they're the trains you will find that we have to avoid, they're very, very hard to avoid. They get really frustrating to avoid. Okay, there we go, we've arrived. God, stopping is not so great. It's funny how much our train was smoking the ones of one damage. We are here in Whittleton. Man, it's in one piece, Link. Look at all the trees in the village. It's crawling with bugs here. No. Really? Well, good. Because I hate bugs. We, I can tell. Well, let's go walk around. Oh, I almost forgot to remind you. 
When you want to get on the train, just tap me. I'll pop up like this whenever you come near the train, just in case. Can we get some hearts, please? Please won't come for you. Are you kidding me? Thank you. One more heart and I would feel comfortable. There are bees there also, which doesn't make me want to go to that tree. Seriously, no, no more hearts? Okay, that kind of stinks. What's, is this a shop? Because if it is, I think I can afford to show that. I'm welcome, this is a horse general store. We have a lot of items, so I'll feel free to take it. Eddie, yes, we are going to buy the shield. This is going to be so helpful. Oh my god, that's expensive. Why do these treasure items cost so much? Everything is 100 rupees. Look at that. It's you with that, your stupid face. You're scamming. You're a scammer. I doubt a freaking like little thing made of wood is like the same price as a star fragment. But anyway, I think we're uh, there's actually some story involved here, so we are going to stop it here. See you on the next episode. Leave a like for more spirit tracks. Bye, everyone.